Isabel, the reason why you are in my office right now is because your annual IEP meeting is happening right now. I hired two new therapists who go by the name of Darissa Fiera and Tuesday Boyregard, two new social workers and two new guidance counselors who will all be joining in the meeting. Not to mention that Samantha, Amaravati and Viley will also be joining in the meeting as well. Is that understandable of what I said? Yes, Miss Penelope Taylor. I get it now. Good. Now please, follow me into the conference room right now. Welcome to Isabel's annual IEP meeting. Today is Monday, February 12th, 2024. Let's begin the meeting by introducing ourselves. I'm Penelope Alexandra Taylor, the youngest and the smartest headmaster in the world of the Cheer Meet Molly Girls and the Family Gang Mates School for Gifted and Reformed Students. Karen McCarrenson, Isabel's current teacher. Melody Amble, Isabel's upcoming teacher. Tuesday Beauregard, one of Isabel's upcoming therapists. Darissa Ferrer, one of Isabel's upcoming therapists. Viley Anderson, Isabel's new case manager. Umravati Kaimadwanti, Isabel's new social worker. Samantha Munoz, member of the Dish Girls and Isabel's new appointed guidance counselor. Ingrid Isabel Iron, Isabel's mother. Isabel Ivy Iron, student. And lastly, Isabel Ivy Iron. Isabel's good clone. Thank you. Now that we all introduced ourselves, let's go over on what Isabel Ivy Iron has done over the past few years and at this school. We'll also discuss the goals for the remainder of her time here at this school, but let's discuss everything she did right now. I'll begin. From what I've heard from multiple people, according to the notes of her IEP, Isabel's main goal is to become a juvenile delinquent to society along with their friends. She also became an entitled Karen, then bullied an autistic boy named Michael Dagger at the park, turned Gallum Rockley into a giant, shouted out the F her right in the P word on the news report, attention seeking and so much more. Not to mention that she and her delinquent friends Andrew, Orion, Early and Ethan joined in with the Alanistiums and then went on a crime spree along with them. And since Principal Victoria Peterson couldn't make it to Isabel's IEP meeting because she has her work with my mom and her sister Molly, she witnessed that Isabel scared and traumatized little kids at their preschool, accused another person for killing Princess Twilight Sparkle, said profanity words to her teachers and kidnapped her friends just for fun. That's all she has to say. Karen, what did Isabel do this time? So, from what she told me... She did the devious lick challenge when the school's cafeteria is shut closed for good, washed her hands in the water fountain, getting all her haters expelled for no reason, kidnapping her haters and turn them evil, twerked to Anaconda by Nicki Minaj, whining and crying for lots of reasons, betraying us and the whole society, became an attention seeker and so much more. That's all I have to say about it. Thank you. Melody, it's your turn now. All right then. Since I will be Isabel's upcoming teacher, I expect her to have a respectful attitude toward me and the students, she will never be allowed to sit next to Ethan, Andrew, Orion and Early, she will never be allowed to be partners with the Alanastiums and to her friends of the teenagers next door since it violates school policy, she is to be respectful to her partners and whoever she sits next to. And since she is having lunch bunched with us cheer or destiny girls and the molly gang, she will never be allowed to go outside for the rest of her ultimate life. Thank you. Tuesday, you are one of Isabel's new therapists, what can you expect for her to do with you? Alright then. Isabel will be having seminar until the end of her senior year. I will be her seminar teacher and therapist until her senior year, and she will be required to work on her homework in this class, and if she doesn't do her homework, as she is required to, he will have an automatic zero points in her grades, and she will also automatically fail. And lastly, she will be required to fill out a sheet every single night and day to prove that she really did her homework, or if she doesn't do her homework, she will also get an automatic zero points for her grade. Thank you Tuesday. Darissa, you are next. Alright then. Tuesday and I expect Isabel to be on her best behavior. If she isn't on her best behavior along with her friends, 
she and her friends will be meeting with us once a day or week to improve her behavior along with her friends, and she will be required to bring her sack lunch and money to pay for the lunch for the lunch employees to bring her food with her during her time in class during her lunch bunch, and she will be required to wear her uniform at all times, because this is the dress code for this school, and she will must adhere it. Thank you. Viley, please speak. All right, Isabella's is to meet with me and my crew for 10 minutes during seminar class once a week to talk about her expectations for each week. She is required to take all of the tests at the start. She is also required to meet with me and my crew in the months of June and December she is required to take, and she will have to meet with us once a month to discuss what my crew and I can do to make her and her friends smarter. Thank you Vali. Amravati, it's your turn to speak. All right. The dish girls, the rainbow maples and I will all be required to be by Isabel's side every single day and night during the school day and during her time in school, we will all have to monitor her whenever she takes all of the tests that she is required to take. The rainbow maples and I will have to read each question to her when she takes all of her tests. And most importantly, when she uses her locker at school, we all have to help her unlock it. Thank you. Samantha, it's your turn. All right then. Isabel is to meet with Daisy, Heather, Isabel and I every day from 3.30 to 9.30 p.m. to do her homework. She is also to meet with the Rainbow Maples, the Cheer Destiny Girls, the Molly Gang and us from 7 o'clock to 9 a.m. to help arrange school events and meetings for student council, and most importantly, she will be assigned to her own locker to put her personal items in. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Ingrid and Isabel the Good. How does all of everything we just went over sound? That sounds like an incredible plan for Isabel. This is going to teach her a viable lifelong lesson for what she did to the whole society. Awesome. And also, when Isabel graduates from Go City Academy and other schools like this, she will no longer be accepting her diploma right after graduating her senior year at her high school. Why you may ask? Well, my family, my baby brother, My friends, the Molly Gang and I have all decided that after she graduates from her senior year, she will be participating in the Cheer Destiny Me for Molly Girls and the Family Gang Mates for All Improved Troublemakers Transition Program, and she will not be allowed to accept her diploma until she turns 22 years old. How does all of that sound to her? That sounds like an incredible plan. This transition program will give my bad clone a better life during her time at school and after graduation. All right then, we all have reached the end of the meeting. Meeting is now dismissed everyone. And one more thing Isabel, you're suspended from school until Friday for everything you did to society. Go home and go to your room right now. And if you ever keep up with the motor car or motorcycle crying voice right now, we will all turn you into one and you will automatically be expelled. You're grounded until Spike the Dragon gets back together again along with Twilight Sparkle and her friends. You heard what Penelope said young lady, and we agree with her. You're grounded until Spike the Dragon gets back together again along with Twilight Sparkle and her friends.